Building roads is yeah. Uh, yes, difficult. let's come to that. Okay. <laughs> I I, I want to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned that day to me a little mm-hmm. bit about uh, why we're going about it wrong. Yeah. The highway, especially the NH29 highway uh, to Mapu uh, uh, right? Uh, Share with us a little bit about this because I I found this very interesting. Yeah. Um. No. I like. We're, I'm not saying that we're doing it wrong, mm. but I what I what I thought about and what we some of my colleagues and I we we discuss about is like the road from Dimapur to Kohima mm. it was uh, built during wartime mm. so the like the uh, British yeah, yeah, the, yeah the whatever military forces were operating here they mm. found the fastest route for it they didn't con- uh, they didn't um, consider the the hazards of landslide mm. and you know, whatever high prone yeah, areas the high this, prone yeah, yeah, they just yeah. wanted the shortest road from mm. A to mm. B mm. so Sadly, we're still following that, but I think r- right now for the four-lane road construction, they have made some new road alignments and all, okay. and they have uh, altered that. But mm. um, for slope stability, we there I keep using the term that slope stability, but we mm. really have to consider that because mm. it's uh, like if it is too steep, mm. there's chances of. A landslide occurring so mm. it's as simple as that mm. and if you look at the uh, road construction there at uh, our, our famous yeah, 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 our famous yeah fo- photo photo point <laughs> for all the nagas young yeah. nagas right now it's yeah. actually scary if it's very scary yeah. it's actually scary so i sorry just to cut you off but i yeah. just went up yesterday yeah. or day before to yeah, gaspani yeah, and yeah. it's crumbling it's down. crumbling yeah, yeah. surprise surprise yeah <laughs> yeah so um uh, the road construction thing mm. um the road alignment uh has numerous fault zones mm. okay like uh, we have uh, professors from Nagaland University that have already mapped even GSI workers have also mapped that mm. so there are numerous fault lines and where there are fault lines there is always a plane of weakness and so landslide is landslides will occur because always going to happen what mm. because uh, you must have noticed like even a, on a very good patch of road there will be like something like yeah a little something off, yeah, is yeah, like yeah, a little yeah. off and even from the paint that they have mm. marked on the road you'll mm. see that there is some distortion mm. So that means the earth is moving still, mm. still mm. moving at a very slow rate, but it's still it's moving. Still moving. Yeah. So, like you know about landslides at um, that that old dumping ground just uh, south of Kohima, mm. where landslides have been keeping uh, like have been happening for a long time, as far as as far back as we can remember. Mm. So it's gonna keep happening. Yeah, yeah. The only way is to find alternative roads, mm. alternative roads where there is like less. Uh, fault lines mm. if we have a map and if you just read it like you don't have to understand the geology of it mm. we mark lines on it like these mm. are the fault lines from this to this so if we can just pay a little more attention mm. to the, the the maps that they produce I think the the whatever agency is mm. building the roads they will benefit greatly I think o- o- the most obvious thing would be extra yeah. Uh, you know expenditure yeah considering yeah, yeah, that of j- course, j- yeah, just yeah, say yeah. like for example according to the surveys uh-huh. or the mapping that we have hmm. these areas are very high risk or high prone for landslides so we have to take this around yeah. the border whatever of course but if uh. you think about it, it it still saves you money at the end of the day yeah. I mean in the long run yeah. because here even yeah. if you make it at a lesser mm-hmm. cost you're gonna have it's to gonna keep cost. redoing work, retaining yeah. walls, clearing this road. That I mean, exactly, it's, it's gonna yeah, continue, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah. One exactly. time investment might be higher yeah. to go about a safer way. Yeah, but and yeah. another, uh, yeah, of course, cost is uh, an aspect that 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 comes into all this and like um, the <coughs> risk factor, nah? Uh. Like we really have to reduce that risk factor. Yeah, yeah. Like say, for example, if you're going from Dimapur to Kohima and you're a traffic jam occurs just at uh, like um, Cookie Dolong or yeah, something yeah. where you have those huge rocks mm, that are being mm, mm. and if a landslide occurs you have nowhere to run right? Like it's really and scary cases it's really have scary. happened it, like yeah, there the have recent, cases the recent yeah. unfortunate so at the incident. end of the day the human life the cost is mm. you, you can't put a yeah. put a price tag on it so exactly yeah, like, yeah. I mean uh, yeah that is the worst case scenario losing lives and all yeah. but just besides that also like when even a small landslide happens and yeah. there's a bottleneck and then our like how we're so impatient and we can't wait in our own yeah, lanes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes yeah. five, six, yeah. half day jams are there because mm. yeah. you know of an unexpected and landslide. And actually, uh, this bad road conditions is not just to do with fault lines. Actually, mm. yes, it yes, has something yes. to do with the rock composition as well. Mm. Because um, if you see um, a very thin 
layer of like asphalt road in Meghalaya say mm. you you notice that it it lasts for a long time mm. and here in Nagaland even the the national highway authority of india the ones that are building mm. where it's already decaying it's mm. already being broken up again like mm. they're struggling with it okay mm. so that has something to do with the mineralogical composition mm. so Meghalaya i'm just putting a comparative study so Meghalaya has a rock called quartzite which okay. is metamorphosed equivalent of sandstone mm. so they don't hard, have yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's hard and it has like less feldspar and it's like more crystalline more compact okay here we have immature sandstones like mm. very young sandstones okay. which have a lot of minerals called feldspar mm. so feldspar what it what it does is uh, when it comes in contact with water it disintegrates and forms mud oh. so even the dirty cars that you see in Shillong is different from the dirty cars that you mm. see here mm. so we can't entirely blame the construction agency as mm. well mm. Like, mm. there is a logic behind that yeah, yeah. so i mean but shouldn't have did yeah, <laughs> the so research and found out that you know yeah like that is also there yeah, but yeah. i think uh, like the conventional method of um, like yeah, tarring the road may not work like some maybe some civil engineers will have a better idea about yeah, how to yeah. deal with that uh, lithology because civil engineers also study geology in their mm, courses mm. so maybe cemented rock, cemented cemented, cemented roads, yeah cemented yeah, roads because you know, this whole yeah. stretch has yeah so far it's looking pretty yeah, good yeah yeah, yeah.